Hey everyone, I'm back with another video. It's been a couple weeks since Teak and Tormac servers dropped and I had a couple video scripts ready to go before the servers came out. But uh, apparently when a new TLP drops, I completely lose my ability to manage my time. But here we are, and if you're watching this video, that means I did eventually manage to drag myself away from EverQuest to make a new video. Part of the problem is I have a raid coming up soon that I need to be leveled for, and leveling has been much slower than anticipated. You see, I had a choice. I could either level my main first, either in a static group or just by joining pug groups, and the experience would have been faster but maybe a little bit less consistent. Well, I mean, consistent if I joined a static group, but less consistent if I was pugging. Or I could just level with my box group and do it all myself. And I decided to five box and grind it out that way. But the problem is, I haven't really five boxed much in the past year, so I'm kind of rusty. Cheer! What? You're botting. That's against the rules. You're cheating. Actually, it's... Cheating! Automatic gameplay is against the rules. I reported you, you're gonna get banned, I have the whole thing recorded. I'm not automating anything. Oh ho ho ho, I've been playing EverQuest for 25 years, but I think I know a bot crew when I see one. I'm not automating anything. These are boxes, not bots. I'm using a separate computer for each of them. Sure, people do that with one or two characters, but six? I refuse to believe you're doing that without any software automation. Well, I refuse to believe you've been playing EverQuest for 25 years and you still don't know what true boxing is. Are you being serious? Say it, you know you want to. Yeah, you're ruining the game for the rest of us. You're stealing all of the loot for yourself and Chrono. Chrono! Are you done? Yeah. Enjoy your ban, Botter. Nah, whatever, man. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, so it's been over two weeks since Teak dropped, and I just hit 50 today. My original plan was to grind up levels as fast as I could and start hitting those big money random loot camps before the masses hit max level. But then I realized I'm really bad at leveling. So I decided, yes, I decided to take it slow and relax and just level while hitting some interesting camps. I usually play Dark Elves because I love their starting city and newbie zone. Uh, apparently I'm in the minority having Nariak as my favorite city in EQ, but you are clearly all wrong on that one. But this server, I decided I wanted to try a different leveling route and see parts of the world I don't see as often. So I started in Kinos, and I made it my goal to stay in that part of the continent as long as possible. Blackboro, the Karanas, Permafrost Keep, High Pass, I was going to try all the spots I usually avoid. Yeah, that sucked, and that lasted till about level 6 before I used my North Row Port Sticks and then ran over to Nectalos and leveled there, and then in Lava Storm until the mid-teens. But then, I was going to go back to leveling in places that I hadn't been for a while. I'm usually already 50 by the time Kunark drops, so I haven't leveled there in years. The Over There, Warslick's Woods, Frontier Mountains, the Dreadlands, other zones. So I tried that for a bit, and then ended up in Guck somehow. I don't even know how I got there, I just kind of blacked out for a bit and woke up at the Minotaur camp in Lower Guck. It was the weirdest thing. But it wasn't all bad. I was able to cover a month of gameplay with my boxes, selling J-Boots rings and raster idols. And I got some Dark Elf clicky masks, so I don't have to be a blind, ugly human anymore. But then, when I finished in Guck, I did something new and exciting. Nah, just kidding. I did the exact same thing I did on Mischief in the 40s. I went to Burning Woods and killed giants for vendor fodder and Gordok Packlock. I'm gonna check if I pronounced his name right. and Gorgul Packlock for his sweet randomized Kunark loot to gear out my characters in average at best Kunark leveling gear. I did make a bit of a stopover in the hole, but man, the experience there is bad. And now finally I find myself in Chardok, where I will probably stay until 60. Good old Chardok. So how has Teak been? How was launch? Lag? Cues? Well, the queues were a bit of a nightmare day one, and just like last year, I managed to screw up the time zones and was an hour late trying to log in. 
so I had to wait about three hours before I got in. But that's not so bad. I heard stories from some guildies who had to wait in queue for eight plus hours, so I did get off pretty easy. The queues only lasted a bit over a day though because they brought the servers down on Friday morning for a quick patch that eliminated the queues completely. Why they didn't just do that from the start is a bit of a confusing question that I don't know the answer to, but at least they figured it out fairly quickly. As for server lags, disconnections, weird bugs, I haven't seen any. Although in the past few days word is that there have been some issues with the parcel system just randomly sending packages to the wrong person. Every day I log in hoping to find a fungi tunic in my parcel by accident, but nothing yet. I did very briefly poke my head into Tormax after they fixed the queue issue. I wasn't going to mess around with logging out when there was still queues. And there were people there, but for comparison there were hundreds of Greater Fadark picks on Teak, and on Tormax there were two. So yeah, not empty, but definitely not full. As a whole, I'm having a blast so far on Teak, despite frustratingly slow leveling, and I'm really looking forward to hitting some random loot raids soon. But as for right now, I should probably wrap up this video and get back to leveling so that I can free up more time to make more lore videos. Because, as I said, I've got a script written, I've just been lazy and hadn't made the video yet. So talk to you later.